In this tutorial, we're going to look at working with Bluetooth on Android devices. So what we're going to be covering are some of the basics of Bluetooth technology and looking at the general terms that are used and demonstrate in a simple app how to turn Bluetooth off and on from within the app, eliminating the need for the user to have to go into their settings. But one of the things that you're going to find in working with Bluetooth is that the emulator does not work well. It actually doesn't work at all when trying to work with Bluetooth. So I'm going to have some screenshots that I'll be showing in this presentation and then going into a live code look at setting it up. So what you'll need in order to work with this demo is a device that has Bluetooth capabilities. You can't use the emulator. So even though you may see the option in your emulator where you can turn Bluetooth off and on, it doesn't work. When you try to run one of your apps with Bluetooth capabilities to turn on and off, this is what you'll get. The same application that displayed this error in the emulator worked perfectly fine in the actual device. So you will need to have an actual device in order to test Bluetooth capabilities. Now back in the early days of computers, in order to connect devices, we used cables, and more specifically the RS-232 serial cables. And these have sort of disappeared over the past several years and older computers and older technology use these types of cables but they have fallen by the wayside and are being used more by firewire and USB cables and now uh, Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth serial port profile or the SPP and it's also referred to as RFCOM and it is the Bluetooth transport protocol. And the RF stands for radio frequency, which means it's wireless, and so it uses radio signals. And COM is for communications port. So this provides serial data transfer services using sockets. So Bluetooth, it's a wireless communications protocol and it is constrained a short range of 50 meters or 164 feet. So it basically is a line of sight technology. If you start going through walls and doors and even heavy pieces of appliances and equipment, when you start to lose sight of the object, you start to deteriorate that communication connection. And so it's used a lot for things like microphones and speakers. And in cases of app development, you can use it for peer-to-peer -peer network access. So things like game technologies that would use Bluetooth to be able to play a game in the same physical space with somebody. Now, as far as Android is concerned, Bluetooth APIs have been available since Android 2.0. So you'll need to make sure that you set up your projects so that they are at least 2.0 or higher. And you must also have a device that is Bluetooth capable. And Android applications that have Bluetooth hardware can do things like scan and look for other Bluetooth devices. They can establish an RFCOM connection and then transfer data and we can maintain point-to-point -point or multi-point connections with other Bluetooth devices. Now the Bluetooth APIs are part of the Android Bluetooth package and Android will only permit encrypted connections and two communicating devices must be bonded or paired. Once they're bonded you can connect to them without further security issues. Now the Bluetooth API classes that we'll be working with, uh, the Bluetooth adapter represents the Bluetooth radio hardware which is on the device. So we'll be able to access that and turn it off and on. And a Bluetooth device is representing a remote Bluetooth device. Now we have a Bluetooth server socket and a Bluetooth socket. 
Now the server socket is used to open a socket to listen for connections. And once a connection is made, then we have a Bluetooth socket object that is created when two devices are connected. In order to use Bluetooth within your application, you'll need to turn on permissions in the manifest file. So you need to include Android permission Bluetooth, and for other certain settings, you'll also need to include permissions for Bluetooth admin. So don't forget to do that because that's a common thing to forget and then things don't work once those permissions are not set. Now the communication setup, what we need to do in order to incorporate Bluetooth in your app is first turn on Bluetooth for the device. Once that's turned on, then we need to find other devices that are in the area and pair them and bond them and then we connect to them and once we're connected we're able to transfer data between them. So now on your device you want to go into your settings and go to the wireless networks option and then from there if Bluetooth is turned on you want to turn it off because our app is going to be looking at turning it on to begin with and then we'll look at how to turn it off also from within the app. So you want to make sure that Bluetooth is turned off before you start developing your app. Now this is what our first screen is going to look like. We're just going to have a text view and we're going to have a few buttons on here but the other ones right now are hidden from view because right now they don't apply to the user. We're going to have a disconnect button but there's no sense in showing them disconnect because we're not connected yet. And then when we are connected, we're going to hide the connect button. So we're going to have a text view that we're going to be using to put some text into, and then a connect button, which is going to start the process of turning on Bluetooth. So when the user taps connect, it's going to ask them for permission to turn on the Bluetooth. So once they click yes, it's going to display a dialog showing them that the Bluetooth is being turned on. And once it's turned on, we have these other things that are going to show up. This is our text view, and it's going to get the name of the device and the ID. And then we're going to show the disconnect button. And then I also have a little graphic on here, something that would help the user to see that, yeah, actively they are connected or the Bluetooth is turned on. And then once the user taps disconnect, we're going to change the message in the text view to say the Bluetooth is off and we're also going to display a toast that says that Bluetooth is being turned off. So for this demonstration we're going to be able to go the full circle so that you'll be able to connect to turn Bluetooth on. Once it's turned on then you'll be able to disconnect from it to turn it off. All without going into the settings.